Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and run Super Argos for the first time, covering steps 0 to 3 in the Getting Started Guide. Let's start with the requirements. The Super Argos frontend is a web app, thus it runs on a browser. The team is developing and testing on Chrome, so it is highly recommended for users to use Chrome as well. We know for a fact that browsers behave differently, and considering SuperAlgos' complex system, still in better stage, you are guaranteed to have a better experience overall using Chrome. You have a link here on step 0 for your convenience. We are not going to go through the process of installing Chrome right now, but I do wish to remind you to say yes when you are asked if you want Chrome to be your default browser. Now, let's take a look at the second requirement installing Node.js. Node.js is the open source server environment that handles the back end of SuperAlgos. To install Node.js, follow the link. You will land directly on the download page. Pick the LTS version for your OS. Wait for the download to finish and click on the file to start the installation process. It may take up to 5 minutes to install Node.js, so I will speed up the video in this section. All you need to know is that you will install the default configuration, so simply click next on each screen and install on the last one. Okay, now that Node.js is in back, one final note before firing up the system. As I said earlier, SuperAlgos backend runs on the Node.js server. To interface with the server, you will need to run a command from a command line or terminal application. If you are on Mac or Linux, you don't need to do anything else, as both Mac OS and Linux already come with a good terminal application. However, I can't say the same for Windows Command Prompt or even the PowerShell application. They suck. If you are on Windows, you should install a decent command line app. You may want to check Emulator Commander. It's an open source app that will make running and operating SuperAlgos a much nicer experience. Just follow the link, scroll the page down, and find the download mini button on the download section. You don't need the full version of the app, the mini is just as good. Good, we're ready to go. Now, to download SuperAlgos, follow the official link on the documentation to get to the SuperAlgos repository in the SuperAlgos organization in GitHub. Make sure you are in the master branch of the repository. If you are a developer or a technical person familiar with GitHub, you may want to clone the repository, as it is the best way to stay updated with bug fixes and new features. If learning more about GitHub or Git in general is not within your plans, then just click the download zip button. The download link will download a zip file named SuperAlgos Master. Once the file is downloaded, you will extract the file on your drive. It's good to extract the file in an easy to reach location, such as the root of your drive, as you will launch the system from that folder. Good, that's it. We've downloaded SuperAlgos and are ready to go. Now we'll launch the command line or terminal application. I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm using Emulator Commander, as suggested earlier. If you are on Mac OS or Linux, you will simply launch the terminal app right on the SuperAlgos master folder. Emulator Commander launches on its own folder by default. So I'll use the change directory, that is cd dot dot command, to go up one folder. And now that I'm on the root drive, I will use the cd command to get into the SuperAlgos master folder. If you're not familiar with terminal commands and need help getting to the SuperAlgos master folder, go to step 2 in the documentation and click the link to learn how to change directories in the console. Good, so once you are in the SuperAlgos master folder, type node run and hit enter. You will see the console shows a bunch of servers being launched and Chrome will open and start loading the front-end app. If for some reason you have decided not to set Chrome as your default browser, you may copy the URL, close the non-Chrome browser Fire up Chrome, paste the URL, and keep going from there. That's it. In a few seconds, the app finishes loading, and there you go. You're up and running. Now, make sure you watch the next video, 
We're going to be covering the next few steps in the getting started guide.